I'm back, and today we're making peanut butter banana muffins. Let's talk about what we need. First, we want one cup of mashed ripe bananas. These were not the bananas I was originally planning to use. Those have since rotten, so I'm hoping that these are ripe enough. Uh, we'll find out together. Two large eggs, one quarter cup of honey. The recipe actually says to use maple syrup, but if you've ever used maple syrup to bake, then you know that whatever you're making just tastes like maple syrup. And obviously like this is not a maple syrup muffin, so why would I want it to taste like that? We're gonna use honey instead. Three quarters of a cup of peanut butter. I'm using natural peanut butter and uh, the recipe says to use natural peanut butter, but I don't see why you couldn't just use the regular kind if that's what you buy. Two teaspoons of vanilla extract, one tablespoon of almond milk, one teaspoon of baking powder, a quarter teaspoon of salt, and a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. I ran out of dishes, so they're together in this little bowl. At the end, we're gonna add in some chocolate chips. And then the last ingredient that I didn't mention is one cup of oat flour. Now, for some reason, this is something you can buy. I don't know why anyone would. You could just put rolled oats in the blender, which is what I did, except I feel like an idiot because I listened to the recipe, which said to make one cup of oat flour, you would probably need one and a half cups of oats. Obviously, that doesn't make any sense, but I'm an idiot and I listened, so. We we have one cup of oat flour here and half a cup of extra oat flour. So if you're gonna make oh shit. If you're gonna make this recipe, don't bother with the extra half a cup. So this should be pretty easy to mix up. I'm gonna go preheat my oven to 350 degrees, and then we're gonna start mixing. Alright, so first thing we wanna do actually is mash the bananas. Duh. And there's still a little bit of green, so I'm hoping that that's okay. They should ripen up in the oven, right? That's a good sign. All right, that seems mashed enough to me. So we're going to mix this banana. We can put it in with our almond milk because we're gonna mix all the wet ingredients in here. So in it goes. So next we're gonna add in the peanut butter. Oh, also I wanna mention this recipe, as long as it comes out good, this is a really good way to use up your natural peanut butter if you're like me and you buy the natural peanut butter because it does go bad. I opened up a jar a few weeks ago that I thought was probably perfectly fine and it had a weird white film on the top, so um, it does not last as long as the not natural peanut butter. I used to think it lasted forever and then I found out that it does not. It's time for the eggs. We have one minute until the oven is ready. Vanilla extract. And then the last thing to add was the milk of choice, which was already in the bowl, so we're all set. I don't know if this is the best utensil. It probably looks weird also that I chose not to use a mixer for this, but I thought maybe it would just be nice to not get that whole big thing dirty. And I figured this should be pretty easy to mix by hand, so we'll find out if I was right. I'm smashing the chunks of banana, by the way. Do you guys think a whisk would work? This might be a terrible idea. And I am using crunchy peanut butter, by the way, so that's why this isn't gonna look perfectly smooth, just so you know. Let's move on to the next step. Oat flour. Baking powder. Cinnamon salt. And so now we're gonna beat this until it's smooth and then I'll show you after that what we're doing. And as you can see, there's a couple of like oats that managed to escape the blender blade, which is quite a skill, I have to say. I just left them. Okay, now for the fun part, which is the chocolate chips. They say to measure these, but I'm not going to. This is our chocolate chips in. That doesn't look like enough now. I do want these muffins to be relatively healthy, but you know what? It's Valentine's Day. Let's add more chocolate. I feel like there's some leftover vanilla. Okay, now everybody gets a nice stir. Okay, 
I'm gonna clean up the table really quickly and then we're gonna start filling our muffin tray. Okay, now, I don't know if you guys are ready for this level of crazy. If you've seen me make muffins before, then this is nothing new to you, but for everybody else, welcome to my unique brand of mental illness. So my muffin tin is Teflon. I hate Teflon, it's terrible for you. It's like all you can find in the store. I'm looking into different muffin tins that I wanna try out. There's a, there's a cast iron one that sounds really cool, but I also know that everything sticks to cast iron, so it's driving me crazy. But in the meantime, we're using this because I already have it, but like I said, I'm crazy, so these are the... <laughs> These are the little bits of parchment paper that I measured before we started shooting so we can get each muffin in one of these. So um, let's see if I can do a cool time lapse of filling up the muffin tray. Also, let's see if we really get 12 muffins because sometimes I get less than the recipe says I should. Ooh, these are very wet. a helpful shot. So the muffins were done in the 23 minutes that I told you I was going to give them. And I forgot, I usually raise the temperature. I'm like pointing at you. I'm sorry. <laughs> I usually raise the temperature of the oven when I bake. I usually go 10 degrees higher than the recipe says. And I forgot to do that today. And they came out perfect anyway. I'm so excited. So we are going to try these muffins now. Do you want to tell the viewers what you think of the smell or the look? Uh, it's very peanut butter forward. Mm. They look good. They kind of look like a cookie. They do like kind a of big look like cookie. a cookie. I think we should try them. Ooh, what is sticking out here? Yeah, I guess that's like from the toothpick of... test. <laughs> mm, yeah. Cheers. They're good. Very peanut butter. Flavor. I really like these. Now I'm getting banana. These are really good. I like the amount of chocolate chip you use too. <laughs> This is good. This is really good. I would eat these more. You should make these again. Mm. 